Oh yeah, it's got yet. Um. <clears throat> so, finding a little bit more. <laughs> oh dear. I should have kept my big mouth shut, shouldn't I? <laughs> I said that's the end of the lost welding. Oh crikey. There's some filler in here. Look at that, that's lovely. Obviously my right thumb is stronger than my left thumb. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Hey. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that nice? <laughs> uh, oh dear. Oh well. Something to do, isn't it? Yeah, keep. Okay. Just lifted that uh, lip there, look. <coughs> and, uh, kind of what we expected on it, sort of really crusty underneath. So I'm going to grind the whole lip off. That's scary, isn't it? Okey doke. Good cleanup. <laughs> In um, memory of my old granddad who died unfortunately, passed away in about 1977, aged about 61 ish. Um, he used to wear hats like this, he was a lot cooler than me though. He was part of the expeditionary force that went into, into um, France, Belgium, 19, uh, 1940. And unfortunately captured uh, May, May, June, 1940. And was a prisoner of war. Some rust eating going on. This is a vinegar, because I've run out of rust eater proper, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, right. <coughs> I've, um, Drawn around the front lip of that, there, uh, the roof, can't remember what it was called then. Um, I could have used a thicker pen, can I? <laughs> That's going to be accurate. But, <clears throat> uh, so I've drawn around that. The, the difficult bit, well not the difficult bit, the, the, the dark bit, I don't know, whatever the word is, it's only going to be that wide. So, I'll get the front edge and then um, I'll set up some calipers, I think, <coughs> and scry it once I've got that looking nice on the front. I'll set up some calipers and uh, scribe a line. What do you reckon? That'll work, won't it? Yeah. I'm just using my flappy disk to uh, take the excess back to the original lip. As you can see here. Hi oh, yeah, Scotty, Saturday morning. Uh, must be the ninth fish. Um, I went and bought some, let's go back in there, sorry. Spinning you around. Some of that. <coughs> And uh, it looks like um, incredible Hulk snot because it's, it's a lovely green colour. And um, depending on whether your cup's half empty or half full, it's about half the speed of the, um, uh, or half as effective as the 85% um, phosphoric acid I was using. So I don't know what sort of percentage it's got. It must have phosphoric acid in it. 
but not sure the um, the strength. But uh, it is what it is. Um, it is working. I, do you know what? I, I fully believed that uh, um, I wasn't going to be needing any more, to be honest. Uh, but who'd have thought it, eh? Rust. Okay, I've got um, my little patches ready for uh, these little places, you know, and blah blah blah, get them stuck on. Yeah, it's kind of got to be a bit this rusting, I must admit. Got fed up with it now. I've had enough now, Vincent. No more rust, okay? Okay. See you later. Okay, we made a start, we're spotted now. We can't go anywhere else, it's on there now, so. So now I'm filling in the gaps. Okay, just grind it off now. Get rid of some of the barnacles. I sort of um, bulked it off with the grinder, with the flap disc on it. Um, over there. Um, now just um, black marker pen and uh, hoping that uh, it shows up, which it is showing up. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's uh, low spots. So I'm just finishing it off with a file. I've got one of these files which has got a um, integral handle so I can get it sort of I can hold it pretty flat like that so I'm going to do that now and then hopefully uh, I won't overcut anywhere okay that's that done okay it's Sunday morning so far I've got um, two little itty bitty patches in there and I'm just putting the one on the side here. I'm going to be welding most of it from the inside. Um, but then there's the four, uh, three plug welds to stick in. Okay, all done. Happy enough with that, I think. Yeah. Well, it seemed to go on all right. It's going to fit. So, we're all good, I think. <laughs> 